Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I can't tell you how delighted I am that I have spurred and ignited you girls getting married into making your own bouquets. I am delighted. I told you it was easy. Now, for those of you who are getting married in the spring, let me show you a really simple spring type arrangement or posy, handheld, just a few compositions and how you can turn some hydrangeas, some ranunculus, some roses and some peonies and a little bit of dusty miller into a beautiful, beautiful thing. That's not supposed to be there because I changed my mind about that. Okay, to begin, these, are, these come as doubles in our collection here at Prestige Botanicals and what I have done is I have split them so that I can have two. To that I'm going to add, putting this in my left hand, everything is all laid out in front of me, I want to use three of the roses, so I'm going to have one to there, one to there and I'll bring the other over to there so that the hydrangea which is the biggest can go down the bottom. I'm also going to add in a couple of these really lovely, look at those little babies, beautiful little peonies. I'm going to bring those down and into there and just get your hand into there and just give them a little move and a little manipulation. If you need those a little bit lower, just release your hand ever so slightly and just pull it down so that the blooms or the buds go down into the, your design. Now I've got, oh look at those, I do love these, oh, I've got to stop it. I've got two of those, I'm just going to put those on either side and I want this to be a little bit informal. So I'm going to bring that Dusty Miller over to that side and then with the last hydrangea I'm going to bring that over to there and then because I've put that Dusty Miller there I'm going to bring that over and into there. Now what I've done here is I've grouped, so I've grouped those together. That's a little bit squished down so I could just about lift that up a bit and these ranunculars have got little buds on them so just bring those little buds out but I just wanted something that looked like you'd just gone out to the garden and just gathered it. Now to finish it off cable ties are your best friend, just get your cable tie or zip lock, whatever that you guys call them, into there, they're called different things all over the world, just get that into there and then just give that a pull. Now by keeping everything straight in your hand, what we're trying to achieve here is a nice straight handle. These leaves here, whoops, oh no I shouldn't have done that. See that leaf that's there? That leaf should have been removed before I did that, but just strip all of the leaves off. It's best that you see this, because you know, I make mistakes all the time. The reason you want to strip all of those leaves off is because this handle needs to be as neat as neat as possible. Now you could cover that with ribbon or fabric or whatever you wanted to do. There's lots of examples of how you can finish these on the website. But this here, if you've got any hunkiness here, that hunkiness will go through to the end result. So get rid of all of those before you go and please make sure that you cut those because I was at a wedding not so long ago, well actually it's a wee while ago when we could go out and the wee bride had made a flower, she was terribly excited to show me and I didn't have my snips to cut this off because she had forgotten to cut it off. But the, And then once you've done that just get in there with your hands and just pull the flowers out so that they go into a, 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 a formation or a grouping or a cluster that suits you. There you go. How easy is it to make a bouquet just like that. See you again another day. Bye for now.